So, the members of the fourth estate we will present Mr. So we'll start with Mr. To Wise. Excuse, sir. Can you please excuse? He represents the office of the president, director of special services project in the office of the president who will call his dummy creature and then he will make the presentation a response from the, the Jessica Gray vocational school and the board the proprietors. Mr. Wilson. Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen. Okay my name is Tokle Wise. I'm the coordinator for special services in the office of the president at the executive mansion. Uh, we are here this afternoon to represent your excellency doctor doctor george manning we are who if you can recall you student today i know you people got very good retention the president of year on april 20th during the county tour am i right yes. and then the president make a promise to the vocational school in the hall of rap international where the president said to you that you requested a material that you want to use to empower yourself. And knowing for the way that President George Money, we are, you know all his needs. Mm -hmm. They call him what? Talk, Talk and do. Baru, medicine, and you may name it. Mm -hmm. So we are here today. Today is the 22nd of November. So you can remember that the president is here to fulfill the promise made to you young people to make sure to represent or to empower your people by sewing, baking, and the other things that you people can do. So on behalf of the President of the Republic of Liberia, Dr. George Mann and we are, I'm here this afternoon to present to you Tete Sewing Machine for your Excellency with the oven that you asked for Full giant star oven yeah. to make sure to produce to produce for the entire Duanzo market a good bread because I know you people I know what you can do when it comes to baking. The president didn't stop there and say, but when you get down the oven and the sewing machine, what can happen? So to bake the bread, you need the flour, you need the oil, you need the sugar, you need the butter. So everything is here. And let me say this to you. One of the things you young people got to watch and see. Every time you hear people talking, I always set example on myself. President Weah is the full president that I'm serving. But if you look at Nabiwa today, Straight things are happening, yes. and these things are happening. We need to help our leader, not only talking, mm -hmm. to make sure that he deliver what he want to do for this country. Yes. And I know that he will deliver this country. He will pay this country from what we see that is tangible. Yes. It's not only by talking. Yes. So I'm here this afternoon to represent the president, and the president say hi to you all, and he hope that everything that I come here, you people going to utilize it. This is why we that beyond the president doing the county tour. Every promise that the president made doing the county tour with the 15 counties. Trust me, from December to January, you will be listening to the radio. You will hear the president fulfill all the promises that he made to the people on the 15 counties. I'm trusting the country talk and do. And watch me, I say December, you'll see displacement of the president promises and projects. So... On behalf of the president, uh, Madam Administrator of this uh, noble institution, who molding the mind of our young girls and boys to make sure to empower themselves, and uh, women, let me just appreciate you. I saw you when we were coming with the truck, and the president is so impressed when he told. When he said to me, "Go to Rat International," I thought that was Rat International. You had a trade school. But then I see this campus. Let me applaud you and thank you for your hard work. 
We depend on you to help the people. It's our official leader. When we leave the scene today, we are being government for long. So let me say thank you. And on behalf of the president, these are the actions that we draw from the excellency Dr. George Manavia. And then we say thank you for helping the church. So, so today, on behalf of the president, I will give you, you see this sewing machine at 30 pieces along with their stairs. Okay? Okay, symbolic, you want to open it? So somebody got to be fast now to open the sewing machine. We see that, I just say. No, that way, that open. Because somebody has no rug, you're pointing there. That could be a We have not received any donor money, but we've been able to touch more than 250 lives That's within good. the community. We are grateful. We want to thank the vice chair. Sorry, we want to thank the president, the first lady, because that day I remember when we made a plea after we presented the issues the community needed. We asked for police station. We asked for the market. I see the market project going on. We asked for a whole lot. We also asked for the community public schools and the Dwazon public school to be elevated to a high school because many parents there were the send their children. We are grateful that some of these things are happening. And above all, our passionate plea has been answered. Just a great initiative wouldn't have been receiving these things without the help and support of Mr. Azarade, who has also been there helping. I know there was a point where I was getting frustrated. I'm like, Mr. Red, this thing is not working. I'm trying, I'm fine, I'm in follow up. But again, government is procedure. I, for one, I believe in system. I believe in truthfulness and accountability. My staff can be laughing at me. When they buy five dollars, I say, you're bring the receipt. And they will be laughing. But if we follow the right process, I'm grateful that this has happened. It is not about me. It's not about, you know, the staff that you see here. It's about the lives that are being impacted. What the president has done, what the first lady has done, what the government has done, we want to say it's going to go a long way. On our own, we're able to raise 18 sewing machines from friends who contributed. As they gave it, we put their names on the donator, but we'll take a tour and you'll see what we already have. So it's like you're asking people to help you wash your back and you are not helping to wash your own stomach. So we've been able to raise 18 sewing machines and some pieces of oven that are already in the catering department that you will see. So this is an added advantage and a boost to be able to enroll more people into the program. And for my heart, I want to thank Madam Fina Bondo, who is the brain behind this also. We want to say thank you. We want to thank everyone who have been able to support us one way or the other. 
But above all, this is the biggest donation we've received so far since just a girl started. Since just a girl started. But the little others have been giving, we've been honest with it. We gave whatever they gave, we purchased, carried the receipt back to them. So, for future purpose, I would like to kindly have copies of your receipt in case future references we can be able to say these are the items you receive, these are the quantities we receive, and this is what we signed for. Thank you so much. We are grateful. Thanks to the media. I see my colleagues behind the camera. Thank you for making your way all the way here to see the little we do for our country. It's not about, you know, being in government or outside government. We all one way or the other can help make Liberia better. And that's why I've been doing this at all. Yeah, we said. Yeah. Uh, we say hats off to you. Thank you so much for making the team to be here today. We are grateful. And I will just take a minute to share the platform with our board chair. He's here, Mr. Samuel Dabala, one person who's very passionate about women empowerment. He said, but why he said just a girl, he got a man as a boy. He went through a lot of things for why he got passion for women, women empowerment, Mr. Dabala. Thank you. Um, let me again join Just a Girl Initiative to say a big thank you to the president and the team for hearing our plea and granting our request. We trust that we will utilize what you have given to make greater impact in this community. Why it is true that these items are brought here today to help the young people of this age and generation, we still believe that there are a lot more to do. So do not get uh, tired hearing our request because as you have provided this, we know that there will be demand, there will be more students and we'll still come knocking at your door. We hope that you will always remember us. We have expanded the program from tailoring, catering, and uh, catering. <laughs> now we're going to electricity, we have added computer, we have added soap making. And I'm hearing plea for us to include plumbing and include others because people are seeing the impact of the little work we are doing in the community. So we want to extend our thanks and appreciation to you and please say to the president, we are grateful for this gesture and we'll always remember him and we hope and pray that he becomes successful in his endeavor. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Any Yeah, give it a the president. All right, so we have the other guy that can help the department. Can we get? Can we? Can we get one female? Female. Bumalaka. In Jesus' name. So we have the. Catering class, I'm Mark T. Mayer, the only male in the midst of all the ladies. Oh, yeah. I like to appreciate. Uh, <laughs> I like to appreciate the president so much for this uh, initiative. He had decided to support us through, and we want to also thank the government and all of the officials that also supported the president in making sure that our request is or uh, became successful or granted in jesus name and we pray that this as our coordinator said that this will not be the end because as other students around have seen the donation there are going to be more students to come and other or, or, or projects or courses are going to be added so we pray that as the president have stretched his hand this far we pray that he will continue to look up to us whenever there is a need arise so that he can be able to help us and this institution will grow to another level Thank you. One female. One female. Yeah. Catch it, come. Where's Peggy? Where's Peggy gone? Where's Peggy? Peggy, keep coming. Peggy, can't you? Mm. Okay, my name is Peggy. From the Elizabeth class. I'm going to thank you to the upper president for making a donation. It's a great impact to us. And I hope you guys are stuck. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so we just said.